been busy at work. I've not been able, not physically had the time to do any uploads. So uh, yeah, I've had quite a few matches since the last video. Um, lots of tales of woe, some success. I think uh, the best I've come was fifth in a uh, Fishermania qualifier at Lindo um, with over 200 pound. Uh, great days fishing, but unfortunately not enough on the day. Um, so, the two sort of matches I'm going to focus on uh, today are just. Uh, I've had, I've had three matches at Partridge in the last um, in the last month, and I uh, just want to go through them really. The uh, the first one was the final Fishermania qualifier, and I've drawn peg six on lake one. Uh, to be honest with you, not happy. Um, very uh, very hot, um, quite still. There was a bit of a wind, um, and I had the wind off the back, and uh, yeah, so right bright still conditions in my peg um, I just knew there was going to be no head of F1s there in, in which to uh, to do any damage in the match really so um, yeah a bit disappointed but the thing with these matches is you still got to give yourself a chance so um, the thing that I did have in the peg was lots of lots of really big carp cruising through and with it being still and the sun being in the right position um, it gives you a chance of a mugging day so um, I took the decision to to basically set up a few mugging rigs um, and it's important to know that if, you, if, you, if you're going to be doing that kind of match uh, you basically um, you need to go against the norm of what you'd normally do so um, partridge as many of you know um, it's very shallow dominated through the summer so the first thing you do in any match is to start loose feeding maggots casters down the middle um, if I'd done that on the day, um, I just feel that any carp cruising through the peg, A, you're not going to catch him over where you're feeding, and B, make him a lot more spooky, um, and they'll drop lower in the water, and you give yourselves a lot less opportunity to catch any fish. So, um, obviously, you've got to give yourself a chance of, uh, of catching feeding fish. So, um, on the day, I started short down the edge. It's the, the most or the least destructive place in a peg that you can put any bait, if that makes sense. So uh, I've started short with one small pot of uh, micro pellets, and I've had one carp actually, um, over the first initial feed. Big carp, about six, seven pound. Um, and I've gone back in again, and yeah, I just knew they weren't gonna be coming to bait on the day, basically. I'd, um, I had no more indications and no more fish coming over that spot. So uh, I've gone straight in mugging after about 15, 20 minutes. And the first hour was phenomenal, really. Um, caught some great big fish. And, you know, after, after, after 60 minutes, I had about 60 pound. And after two hours, I had over 100. Um, not much over 100, but it was definitely over 100 pound, which um, has, set, has set the sort of benchmark for me to potentially uh, go on to win the match. Um, Thing of partridges, um, you only you don't you, you never seem to get a full match of um, dobbing or mugging fish. It's always a couple of hours really. So uh, the middle part of the match was very slow, and less and less fish were sort of like presenting themselves to be caught in that fashion. So uh, the last sort of two hours of the match, I've given myself um, a chance of winning and started feeding. Um, I tried shallow, didn't have a bite. Um, and I tried the edges to catch some of the carp and I caught one or two more in the last part of the match so a uh, bit of a disappointing end but the fact is I've sort of like I've comfortably won the lake um, I've had, a, I've had a, like a phenomenal stamp of fish for partridge really I've had uh, 21 carp and one F1 for £133 which is by far the biggest stamp of fish I've ever caught at partridge really um, and I've given myself a chance that if they'd fed late on, I only needed 40 minutes of catching to uh, to sort of get the weight uh, needed to win the match. But I think 70 pound was second on the lake on the day. So uh, from, from a peg I didn't fancy with the wind off the back, um, I was really pleased with that. And it just goes to show to uh, to give yourself a chance in these matches. You don't always have to follow, follow the norm really. Um, so yeah, the next match uh, was Bank Holiday Monday. Um, last week. I'd actually been on the Sunday as well, um, drawn peg 23 on Lake 2. Again, the wind blowing out, didn't fancy it, but um, any time you draw an extra bridge, they do hold some fish, and uh, the lake fished hard on the day, so um, 
I fished quite a negative match really. Uh, fished pellets for stockies and F1s uh, sort of across from me and then I've had a few big carp on maggots in the end, in the edge um, late on for 110 pound and yeah fortunately I've won the lake again. Um, and then on bank holiday Monday I've drawn peg 165. Um, again I didn't fancy it, the wind was blowing down the far end uh, towards 151, 149 and I knew I'd be up against it to, to beat those pegs. Uh, so again I've just fished a nice a nice steady match. I've not set any shallow rigs up because uh, again normally if you're off the back of the wind um, you're, you, you're not going to have the head of F1s in front of you that other pegs have basically. Um, so by fishing shallow you, you, you're potentially um, splitting up fish um, that you could be catching on other methods more effectively because you need a, a large volume of fish in your peg in order to catch shallow um, shallow weights. So uh, I've set up three rigs across for fishing pellets up and down the shelf. Um, a short maggot rig to the left, um, tight against the um, steep shelf in two foot. And I've, uh, I've set up a, a three foot rig as well on a top kit to my right. Um, it's been a nice steady match. Had a few early on uh, hard pellets across. Uh, good stamp of fish. Middle part of the match was really hard. Um, and then I, I caught a cross again later on and then in the edges. Now the thing that surprised me was um, the three foot line on the top kit um, was actually a lot stronger than the line in two foot further away from me and this time of year I wasn't really expecting that and to be honest with you I don't think uh, I don't think I, I give it enough time to catch what it was worth so I stopped feeding it um, thinking that my two foot line would um, would come stronger um, and then you know with an hour to go I started feeding it again and uh, straight away it was stronger so uh, made a bit of a mistake there but you know um, I honestly thought I'd split the fish up and uh, catch uh, catch better by concentrating on the slightly shallow water to my left but yeah lesson learned there really I think um, the rain during the week we had a lot we had some storms and a lot of rain um, it pushed the fish uh, down deeper than what you'd expect for this time of year but yeah um, it's been a nice steady match I've caught a mixture of big F1s and carp um, and uh, yeah I've ended up winning the lake again um, the pegs the pegs in, in the wind I think um, they've they've tried to catch shallow and potentially not caught what the peg was was worth um, wasting that time trying to catch shallow to, on the day, um, our lake, um, you know, it wasn't big weights and they didn't really have a go. So uh, again, I've got away with it. I've, I've, uh, I've, I've fished the right match for the conditions of the day. Thoroughly enjoyed the match and ended up with 110 pound and that ended up third overall. A uh, long way off the win, uh, Christian Jones had 200 pound. But I suppose where the point of this video is just to make sure that, um, you know, when you're fishing matches, is to not just go down a set route to, to you know, you got to analyse your peg on the day and give you best, give yourself a best chance of uh, having success, really.